How's it going, everyone? This is Wimbo. Here we go, another quick Blender tip tutorials. Today I'm gonna show you how to create this water wave in Blender. Yeah, now we can see the back end of this image. Yeah, it's not. It's just something, a block and mesh that I built in the Blender. It's not. I didn't use the water uh, fluid stimulation to creating that because for still images it takes forever to setting up the scenes to 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 actually render the animations and the freeze a pick a frame and that just for me I just it doesn't really work very well so what I did instead I used the sculpting features in the blender to really sculpt a fake uh, water mesh right here uh -huh. like that so do in order to achieve this result uh, let me show you how can I do that quickly so get doing here I'm actually just adding a shift a to add a, a basic cube right here so do that put in here and uh, and then tap go to the x-ray mode alt Z and go here I'm just gonna form the basic shape of this mesh like that like wave right and then that tap it out and then <clears throat> after I see like this and then I'm gonna go to the uh, edit mode uh, sorry the sculpt mode and go in here so now you can see here on this side uh, <clears throat> we have a lot of brushes going on here so it doesn't matter which brushes you actually pick uh, so let's go drag down here you can just hold the shift key to to do uh, to actually using as a smooth brush but before you do that right now if I'm tapping to the edit mode you can see this is not enough geometries going on in this mesh will we will we before we sculpt any mesh in the blender we need to have enough geometries so what I can do here I'm gonna select the whole cube and then to do right click subdivide and without doing anything quickly go to the small window right here so we want to change to at least a 10 cuts to get enough geometries right now we can go back to the edit mode to start editing uh, sculpting sorry and then what we can do we're gonna hit the shift key and they're just gonna just kind of grabbing on the edge to to kind of smooth this whole thing out because water doesn't is never supposed to have any anything that uh, <coughs> Is very sharp right you can also change in the radius of the the brush size but in the entire time right now I'm holding the shift key to do that you can you can either you can also using this method to, to creating a, a fake uh, ice cube yeah just think about it and um, then to do that <coughs> cool I think that's kind of like pretty round shape and then the next thing we will do is we want to have some like dynamics uh, going on on this mesh so we are going to use the grab tool to do really do something uh, on the surface just kind of getting something uneven and really getting some geometries uh, going on here although right now this mesh doesn't look that good because I feel like I we I probably should do to adding more geometries or uh, on this mesh but you got my ideas uh, how to do this and then what we can do here we can tap it out and go to the object mode we can do a quick right click shade smooth and then we can even uh, to scale to the y-axis so you can see here is something going on with the wave but I definitely spend more time why creating my shape over here and is is essentially is exactly the same thing but as you can see there is more dense of geometries going on here so when you actually creating yours when you're using the the sculpting sculpting mode uh, you definitely need more geometries in here so anyway so now you gotta get an idea of how to, to creating this mesh so we can just kind of like delete that at this moment and now we're going back to here another tricky part is this and how can we light the scene and make it look like water okay it's a couple of things you need to understand that water is a very reflective uh, subject or materials you, if you think in that way 
in order to light it, you need to have a, a environment to light this uh, material to reflect, which means we need to having a a HDRI going on in here. You can actually download a free HDRI um, textures uh, environment lightings from HDRI Haven. You can go there. I will put the the download links for the. Uh, for this image right there and what I did is I didn't put the default strength to 1 because I just want to have some ambient lights going on so I put a 0.3 instead of 1 as always when I lighting things I do not I want to have a control of my light I don't want to utilizing the HDRI as my, my key light to lighting everything else it just doesn't have the enough control for me and also because I'm a photographer, uh, so the control light is my one of my expertise for that. So let me show you what's going on with the without the uh, the actual HDRI light. So if I'm cutting this off, you can see the top of the waves looks very dark because in this environment, without actually having HDRI going on, you are it, it actually you just basically all dark it's all pure black you won't see anything over here so that's why the water is is very dark although I put a light in the back in the background it's, it's illuminating from the backwards and making because I'm looking through this so you have some little bit of light texture but the top part is something that HDRI helps so you need to understand that so I'm hook it back you can see we get some minor details not too much but these details can really help you to sell the ideas that this is the water. And same thing, and also another thing is the, 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 the bubbles, all right? The air bubbles is another thing to really trick, trick your viewer's eye and the brain to think about, oh, that's, it's inside the water. So <clears throat> that's the whole idea. So definitely another thing that you guys will be very interested in is how the shader, what is the shader of the water? It looks very nice. Yeah. Uh, it, it is nice at the same time uh, lighting has played a huge role in, in do that so let me click that uh, the glass actually what I did I was use, using the glass shader that the other day I shared to you guys from the previous videos and what only thing changed I just adding a hint of blue colors in the water I know the water doesn't have any color but in order to sell that idea, I just put some um, blue colors inside of this shader to make it look like water, right? Uh, combined with the bubbles, combined with the waves, combined with the beautiful light from the back. Yeah, people will think this is water, right? That's the whole idea. And uh, this is my scene in the, for this tutorials. And you can see that some rim light for the top lid and some front light for the highlight right here and the light in the background to to really illuminating to to get a light a uh, light through the the water and the whole bottle so another light for for the product just kind of accentuate the the inside of the liquid and that's it um, I think I'm hoping this uh, short Blender tutorial is going to really help you uh, change the way you think about solving problems uh, in the way that has to be physically accurate. To You don't have to use uh, uh, fluid stimulation. You can just sculpt a, a water wave. And a good thing about this, once you have this, you can reuse it anytime in the future when you render a, a different product you can just do that you can you don't even need to change any lightings you just need to replace a a product how amazing it is right it is the whole it's the whole idea of cgi and the rendering uh, uh, high images with very quick we can come up with a very quick result okay anyway and if you really like this content or this type of materials, please consider subscribe my channel. My channel is all about photorealistic rendering for product. And uh, we can always hang out in the social media like Instagram. And uh, thank you for your support. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.